Ross Turbo Levine. I am Majid Al Nakdi. I am Kapani Daniel. I am Bryce Mills. I am Anthony Lebron. I am Ashley Kuhlfein. I am Rowan Day. I am Jamal Lazir. This is Fatih the Ottoman. I am Jonathan Tatamakhan. I am Oscar Lee. I am Abdul Fattah. I am Vidal Rally. And this is Knockout Night. The Ripper. From the luxurious ballroom at Five Palm Jumeirah, thank you for tuning in live on Fight TV. We have a lot more action lined up for you right here. Going straight into our next bout, we're looking at a boxing match. Coming in officially at six rounds in the welterweight boxing contest. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner from Bangkok, Thailand. One Pichit Siripahana. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner from Watford, Ireland, Rohan Dates. We are back. Knockout night. Had a quick little intermission. Got to say hi to some of the guests in the crowd tonight. Rohan Date, 26 years old, five knockouts to his name. With his coaches, Johnny Edwards and Ben O'Connor, fighting out of Guilford City Gym and trains out of Real Boxing Dubai. They were very adamant about giving their giving a shout out rather to Lenny Fletcher and Casey Kinden, some of the trainers back home, back in London. They also said, I might start some drama here, Jody. Johnny Edwards says that he's the ringleader. The ringleader, oh. So he might have to deal with that when he gets home. He said he has a lot of fans and a lot of support watching tonight from London. So let's see him put on a show. I mean, he is the seven-time Irish national champ, former Olympic team member, 200-plus amateur fights, Jody. Can you believe that? Uh, it's hard to believe. <laughs> He's a rookie to the game. He's a rookie to the professional game, but right. not a rookie to the fight game. Five KOs to his name, where his opponent has Four KOs to his name, fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand. World Muay Thai organizational champ. Interesting to see them square off. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, bringing to the blue corner from Watford, Ireland, Rohan Date. I'm like a true champion, taking his time getting to the ring. Again, I like to see this contrast in, in cultures and countries, Ireland. And I got to, oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I, I just got to say, I haven't seen Rohan there take off go. those sunglasses yet. I'm, I'm curious to see if he fights in them, honestly. <laughs> and there they go. I would recommend <laughs> not doing that. Hey, KSI's in the house. We know he likes to wear sunglasses inside. So. And that's another Follow fellow I've never seen take his sunglasses off. What is he hiding? But once again, not to be outdone gentlemen. in the fashion department. This will Rohan be a Dave boxing matchup scheduled for six round in the welterweight division. Your referee in charge and the man in charge of the action, referee Shazar Janaid. Reintroducing first out of the red corner, he comes in from Bangkok, Thailand, 
with a height of 178 centimeters, weighing in officially at 146 pounds. He's a former World Muay Thai Organization Champion in the Super Flyweight Division. And, on, and an Asian Champion Quarter Finalist, representing Patakhan Gym, fighting out of Thailand, from Bangkok, Thailand, Wan Pichit Kai Siripahana! I think we're fortunate, only two Thai fighters on the card right tonight. Now, for and it's his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, he comes in an official height of 177 centimeters with a weight of 145. A perfect record of seven wins, five by way of knockout, and one draw. He's a former World Golden Glove champion, a seven-time Irish national champion, and a former member of the Irish Olympic team, holding 200 amateur fights under his belt, representing the real boxing only gym from Dubai, from Watford Island, give it up for Rohan Dates! Clearly the crowd favorite, Rohan Dates. The referee in charge, referee Shazad will now be giving his final instructions to the boxers. Okay boys, we've been through the rules in the changing rooms. Okay guys, remember I'm fair but I'm firm. Protect yourself at all times and make sure you obey my rules at all times. Touch him up. You know, it's very interesting, Jody. You mentioned that he is a Thai fighter. Both Thai fighters on this card, boxing matches. Yeah, I was going to say that earlier. It's it's a little interesting. You know, we expect them, obviously, Muay Thai to be, be what most of them do. So you wonder why they stick to boxing. But you also got to wonder, as many Thais, he probably has several fights under his belt. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. They, they, start, they come out of the womb throwing punches <laughs> and knees. But I don't blame him. I wouldn't want to take an elbow or knee either. Rohan displaying his dominance by keeping him on the ropes early on. Looks like Siri Pahana has some fire behind those I was hands. Say, though. a little of that Muay Thai aggression. He is a world Muay Thai organizational champion, so let's see if he can play with these rule sets and not go back to habits. Yeah, and you always got to be concerned, I guess, if you're fighting a guy that's got a Muay Thai background. Will he uh, throw an elbow or a kick out of yeah, habit? Yeah, I've seen it before. I mean, I've seen it on the amateur level, so hopefully that a professional knows when to do that and when not to. Rohan doing a great job using the jab to set up that big uppercut. Excellent hook. And they're tying up, but it is a boxing match. It will get broken up quickly. Rohan continues with that lead uppercut into the body. Those will certainly add up on the tie. Yeah, you can see the tie fighter when they're in the clinch. Look like he's wanting to throw some knees. Mm -hmm. Kind of bummed out that he can't. Rohan continues with that jab. It's very strong. He's not using it as a, a power shot, rather finding his distance. He has to be careful not to be lazy with it, though. Mm. Nice footwork from both opponents. Excellent uppercut from Rohan. Oh, and he likes it. The Asian is taunting him now, asking for more. I'll never understand that mentality. Jody, it worries me. His hand is nowhere near his guard for Rohan. Yeah, you've been harping on it all night. Oh, very yeah. nice uppercut from Rohan. Getting oh, right through that he guard. He caught his attention. Ty seems a little wobbly. He's a little wobbly. Down he goes. I think we have another TKO on our hands. Yeah, and he's back on his feet, smiling, right. showing that he's here to play. Seems like he's been there once or twice. Showing full confidence in continuing the fight, but I think Rohan's about to lay it on him. Pedaling backwards, he needs to start moving forward. It's like Rohan got the memo what the night was called. <laughs> Siri Bahana needs to do something. 
something to get back on top here in the final seconds of this round. Very exciting first round for these two, but I have to say Rohan might have taken that first round for himself. What's happening, I'm seeing Jody, is when Siri Pahana covers and shells up, he's doing so and he's leaning forward, which is allowing Rohan's uppercut to just sneak through that guard. Absolutely, and it looks like Sierra Pahana is injured, limping going back in the corner, so couldn't we'll see if he notice. makes it out for the second round. Yeah, I couldn't help but notice his coach actually picked him up. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Yeah, the difference you know, between Muay Thai and kickboxing and boxing, the way you stand, the way you carry yourself is different, so that's yeah. allowing Rohan to but it's interesting as well. I'm wondering if he even is a TIE fighter because TIE fighters are technically, they have that straight guard, that high guard. They march in. They don't typically bend over because they are worried about those knees. So right. Maybe that's why he's boxing. Maybe that's what he's doing. But he certainly seems to like combat. He's smiling all the way through. Rohan picking up where he left off, making the TIE go backwards. Those jabs have a little more authority on them as we start the second round. Looks like Siri Bahana might have clipped the jaw of Rohan, but it didn't phase him. Nice change of levels from Rohan. Definitely not allowed in boxing. Dante looked a little shaken up. Well, yeah, he's not used to being dumped. Staying confident as ever, keeping, ooh, that would have really hurt if that found a home. It's unfortunate Rohan has some blood coming from his eyebrow, and I think it happened on that awkward fall. And he does again. It. I think he can take away a point, absolutely. Yep. Like we said before, ties, you know, it's hard. It's muscle memory. The crowd is not right happy right about now. this one. Muscle memory certainly came into play for this, and Rohan is not happy. Making him pay for that one. He keeps hitting him with that jab. I think we're going to have a title uh, tattoo on the forehead of the tie fighter. <laughs> continuing with those fierce uppercuts, but now Siri Bahana a little scared of it, higher guard. Yeah, and I think those takedowns were, were out of frustration, out of, of knowing that, you know, perhaps the end is near. You know, it's true, he might be getting frustrated, but I really think it's the muscle memory, the constant training of the Thai style. I mean, that, you could tell it was effortless for him to just throw him, and it's not like Rohan, Rohan definitely has the size on him, the size advantage, and here he goes. Okay. Hook after vicious hook from Rohan, every single one of them landing. Uppercut, hook, a flurry of punches, keeping this tie in the corner. Referee taking a close look. Looks like, the, and there, there he goes, called by the ref. Rohan comes out on top. Impressive, impressive win for the Irish fight. Again, impressive performance for for Date, the Irish Olympian, took care of business. Uh, congratulations to him. Nice to see him not get frustrated from those takedowns. As soon as they announce a the winner, Maddie's going to go in there and speak to the to Rohan. As 
you can see his corner is ecstatic with the performance and as well as they should be. Ladies and gentlemen, what an amazing boxing fight that was. Referee Shazad Janaid called a stop at two minutes and 12 seconds. Declaring, oh, in round number two, declaring the winner by TKO, Rohan Dates. Rohan, you're getting so much love from the crowd right now. Let's talk about this bout for a second. You were facing a Thai fighter who clearly had some habits of Muay Thai, throwing you on the canvas. Tell me, what was going through your head? How did you deal with that? That was my first Muay Thai experience. So, uh, <laughs> Was it your first and last? It was the first one. It was, look, I just wanted to get this one ready for Dubai, and give an exciting show to everyone. Uh, I want to make sure, make sure that everyone's having a good time. They've all come out in their droves to support me and stuff like that. I'm just delighted for it. Well, you've certainly won the crown over. They're extremely happy for your victory. Tell me, what's next for Rohan? Let's see if the guys at Battle Jack Promotions are going to bring another one here. A title looks like it could be a thing. Oh, it seems like we need another title, or excuse me, your first title shot out of Battle Jack Promotions. Let's hear it for Rohan Dave. <laughs> All right, congratulations to that young man taking care of business. Coming Ladies up next, and gentlemen, Rohan brings up we have professional Bryce record. Mills making his Two professional debut. Looking forward to that. KOs. The role of a champion is far greater than defeating his opponent inside of the ring. He takes on a responsibility as an ambassador, a hero, and more importantly, as a source of hope for children that have lost theirs. The Badu Jack Foundation was established to give children across the globe a fighting chance in life. From the self-sustaining program we've developed to providing essential nutrition to malnourished and impoverished children in refugee camps to launching the Badu Jack Education Center to help teach those that cannot afford proper education we take on these challenges wholeheartedly this is our mission the mission of the Badu Jack Foundation <laughs>